Welcome to the Prumi Hemo channel in lockdown. I'm taking this opportunity to produce a short series of videos in a rather more informal chatty style where I tell you about uh, the small tricks and tips that have worked for me over the years with Kumi Hemo. And for this one, I'm going to show you how to measure your braid for an end cap. So when you use a glue in end cap, you need a nice fit. You need to be able to get the braid into the end cap, but you need a little bit of wiggle room so that there's room for the glue. And as so many of our supplies have to be bought online, it can be very difficult to know what size to buy. So the first thing to say is uh, we work in millimetres for this because this is how most of the end caps are sold. And the measurement on the end cap you're looking for is the internal diameter. So there are several ways to measure your braid. This is the simplest one, a tape measure or ruler. Just ignore the first little bit because it's hard to see and you're going to be working with small measurements. So I'm going to start at 10 and I'm just going to lay my braid over the top of 10. Uh, so the, the, the barrier where 10 comes. And to, to identify the size, you need to look right down from above. Don't look from either side because that will distort your view. You need to look from exactly above. And when I look at this, I can see this braid measures four millimeters. So that's one way. Another way is with a caliper. Now there are several sorts of caliper you can get. This is the most basic sort. This is just, um, and they're very cheap as well. This is just a little plastic one. You can get fancier metal ones and you can get very fancy digital ones. They all do pretty much the same job. And with this one, what we're looking for is where we measure, where the measurement is shown. So here, you will see there's a little line and a line on the corresponding side. And that is where you identify the measurement. So you just simply put the braid into the caliper and close it. Now don't squeeze too hard because, and particularly with soft braids, because you would get a distorted reading. But if you look closely there, you will see at the bottom there, which is millimeters, more or less, you'll see, again, four millimeters. Another way of measuring is with these lovely tools, my beautiful elephant and um, a less fancy one. Now these are designed for measuring knitting needles, but they're a really great tool for Kumihimo. And you either get them in this style where you have holes or you get them in this style where you have slots. And they're both great. Again, you're working in millimetres, so you do need to be sure you've got the one with millimetres. So what this does, it gives you an idea of how the braid will fit in the end cap. So what I'm going to do is take this one first, and I'm just going to start seeing which hole it will go through. Now, it won't, interestingly, it won't quite go through the four, because that's the exact measurement we already have established that. But when we go through 4.5, it goes in rather nicely. Now, most end caps are measured in full millimetres. So we need to go up to the nearest full millimetre, and that gives us five. And that actually is a lovely fit, because what it gives us is approximately a millimetre of space, which is therefore half a millimetre on each side of the braid. And that will give you the flexibility um, to get to have a bit of glue on the outside of the braid and to get it into the end cap without too much fiddling around. So if I'm buying an end cap now, I would be looking for the five millimetre end cap. And the reason this one's rather good is for this braid, I have already sealed the end and um, trimmed off the knot. You may not always have done that. So let's see here, if we've got one with a knot, the advantage of this is you can just slot it in. So we really come up to the same thing. The four, we can just about get it in here. 4.5 feels good. Five is the one we would go for. It just gives us that little bit of flexibility. So that is how 
you can measure your end cap and then you can order online for this braid i would be ordering um, an end cap with an internal diameter of five millimeters uh, now Having said that, there can be a lot of variation, so sometimes it's wise to get a few extras as well of different sizes. But this is my 5mm, this is my braid that measured 4mm, but I wanted a bit of leeway, and it fits in perfectly. So that's, that's what I would want for this braid. So I hope you found that helpful, and if you have, I do hope you'll tune in for other videos where I just show you little things that might make a difference. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.